Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. My name is James, and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. Well, I'm in a slightly different location than I normally shoot my videos. I've never shot a video in my son's playroom, but that's where I am right now. I'm in his playroom. This is his PS4 right down here. You may not be able to see it, but this is the TV he plays his PlayStation 4 games on. And I'm in his playroom because my normal filming location I, I can't use at the moment. So I'm gonna have to improvise here and use a different spot for this shot. That's not gonna stop me from getting another entry in in our Taste of Director series. So we have a series on this channel, an ongoing series called our Taste Director series. And what we do in this series is each month we'll turn the spotlight on a particular director, particular filmmaker, and we'll talk about three to four films from her, his filmography to give you a taste of what that director has to offer. Now, as I said before in previous entries in this series, Selecting three to four films won't give you the full depth and breadth of what a filmmaker has done, especially if they've been doing this for multiple decades, as is the case of Mr. Clint Eastwood, who we're talking about today. It's not going to give you their full, you know, everything they've done, but it's just going to give you a taste, sort of a sample of what they have done in their career. So that, you know, if you have never seen anything from this particular filmmaker, it might spark an interest and you might start to maybe explore that director's work. For me, one of the most enjoyable aspects of doing this YouTube channel is, is that very thing, is discovering new directors, new filmmakers. It's part of the reason why I love the Criterion Collections works that they put out is just getting exposed to new directors, new films that I had never heard of. And in most cases, when I watch these new discoveries, I'm very happy with with what I've seen. I've learned something new. I've learned about a new filmmaker. I've learned about a, a film that I never even heard of. So for the most part, these blind buys from Criterion work out quite well for me. In some cases, they don't. In a few cases. But for the most part, 90% of the time, double thumbs up. So it's really all about getting exposed to new filmmakers. And I'm really excited about this entry today that we're going to talk about Mr. Clint Eastwood because he is one of my favorite directors. Now, I don't know where Clint Eastwood would rank. If I had to do a ranking of top 10 or top 20 directors, not sure where Mr. Eastwood would rank, but he is definitely among my favorite directors. So today we're gonna to be talking about a taste of Clint Eastwood films. So Clint Eastwood is, of course, he requires no introduction. He was born in May of 1930. He's been in the film base, in the film business for many years as an actor, as a producer, as a director. He has his production company called Malpazo Productions, or Malpazo, which started in 1967. And Malpazo has been doing pretty much every film that he has been involved with for the last over 50 plus years. So I'm going on 60 years. So he is a legendary force in Hollywood. And I am extremely excited to take a few minutes to just share with you some of my favorite films from this director. And I want to hear in the comments section what you all think about the films of Clint Eastwood. What is your favorite film that he's directed? And what is your favorite film he's acted in? So, and that's one of the things I love about Eastwood is that he is a famous actor. He's done some awesome movies as an actor. He's done some awesome movies as a director. And in many of the films he's directed, he has starred in. So just a prolific filmmaker and one of my absolute favorites. So let me tell you a little bit about Mr. Clinton Eastwood. So Clinton Eastwood Jr. was born in May on May 31st, 1930. He's an American actor, film producer, and director. And he was born in San Francisco, California. So early in his career, he achieved success in a TV series called Rawhide, which ran from the late 1950s to the early 1960s. And then he would eventually, after Rawhide, he would break into doing movies as an actor. And he started out in this rather famous spaghetti western series from director Sergio Leone called the Man With No Name series. So he starred in Fistful of Dollars in 1964, I think this was. Then you've got the wonderful For A Few Dollars More, which is 1965. 
and then in 1966, so these came in sequential order, year after year, 64, 65, 66, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, I have these on Blu-ray. I believe these are available now on 4K Ultra HD. I have not yet upgraded these yet, but let me know in the comments section if you have these films on 4K, the Man With No Name trilogy, is it worth the upgrade? Because I did a video recently on upgrade to Blu-ray of 4K, is it worth it? Let me know in the comment section if you think it's worth it to upgrade to 4K for these Sergio Leone Spaghetti Westerns. After the Man With No Name trilogy, Eastwood would go on and star in a number of films as Dirty Harry, such as Dirty Harry and Back and Force, and he has starred in a number of films throughout the years, films he's directed in, as well as films that featured other directors. But today we're talking about and focusing on Clint Eastwood, the director. And so there are four films from his filmography, four of my favorites from his filmography that I want to focus on for today's discussion. And I want to hear in the comment section what some of your favorite films are from this director, from Clint Eastwood. But the films we're going to talk about today are his directorial debut, Play Misty for Me, The Outlaw Josie Wales from 1976, Play Misty for Me is from 1971, The Legendary Unforgiven, the 1992 Western, and this wonderful film, 2004's Million Dollar Baby. So Clint Eastwood won the Academy Award for Best Director and, and as a producer won Best Picture for both of these films. So both of these pictures won Best Picture, Best Director, and Clint Eastwood has four Academy Awards. He was also nominated for an Oscar as an actor, but he did not win for that nomination, but he did win four Oscars for these two glorious films right here that I'm gonna talk about. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these four films, starting with my favorite of Clint Eastwood's films, Play Misty for Me. So this is his 1971 directorial film debut, and this is an amazing, amazing film. I've talked about this film a number of times on this channel. So Play Misty for me is a really special film because this is my favorite of Clint Eastwood's films that he has directed. It is the 1971 directorial debut for Mr. Eastwood. He directs and stars in this film. He plays Dave Garber, who is a disc jockey, radio disc jockey in Northern California, who ends up being stalked by a woman who calls into his radio show every night played by Jessica Walter, the wonderful Jessica Walter. She calls to his radio station every night and she asks him to play the song, Play Misty For Me. They eventually meet by a chance encounter and they start a little bit of an affair. And of course, she's a psycho, things go wrong. This is a film that basically is the precursor to films like Fatal Attraction, which I heard is getting a new 4K release here in the next few months, I believe. This is the film that inspired films like Fatal Attraction. So this is an amazing film that takes place in Northern California. This film has a jazz concert in the film and Clint Eastwood is just wonderful in this film. Jessica Walter is wonderful. I love the story of this film. I love the pace and the flow and the feel of Play Misty for me. It just has a vibe that is just unforgettable for me personally. I love this film and I would love for this film to come out on 4K Ultra HD. I don't know if that's a possibility or not, but I would absolutely love to see Play Misty for me get a 4K release. That would be just absolutely exciting. So this is the Blu-ray edition, of course. Clint Eastwood's directorial debut, and it is a fantastic, fantastic film. Let me know in the comments if you have played Misty for me and what you think about this film. But this is my favorite film from Clint Eastwood, his directorial debut, Play Misty for Me. So that's 1971. We fast forward five years and we get one of Clint Eastwood's all time best westerns, and that is The Outlaw Josie Wales. So this is a fantastic film from 1976 from director Clint Eastwood that I absolutely love. I saw this film as a child a number of years ago and just loved this film. My parents loved this film when they saw it. And I, I just love this movie. This is a wonderful, wonderful Western. I'm holding the Digibook edition of The Outlaw Josie Wells and it's just a fantastic Digibook. I love these Digibook editions. Just fantastic. 
of these films. Just wonderful. I love a nice digibook. And this is a great digibook. I still have this little card here that I never, I never pulled off, but you see the special features on the back. Just a great, great Western from Clint Eastwood. So I'll take a minute to read a little bit of the back here. It says, in the outlaw Josie Wales five-time Academy Award winner, Clint Eastwood is ideally cast as a hard-hitting, fast-drawing loner, like the man with no name from his European Westerns. But unlike that other mythic outlaw, Josie has a name and a heart. After avenging his family's brutal murder, Wales is on the lam, pursued by a pack of killers who travels alone, but a ragtag group of outcasts, including Sandra Locke and Chief Dan George, is drawn to him, and Wales can't leave his motley surrogate family unprotected. Eastwood's skill before and behind the camera connected with audiences for its humor and tenderness as well as its hair trigger action. And, and that's a really nice summary of this film. I love the humor in this movie, as well as the humor in Unforgiven that I'll get to, but The Outlaw Josie Wales is absolutely fantastic. Of course, it references here Chief Dan George. He is wonderful in his role in this movie. This movie is just one of my all-time favorite Westerns, and I highly, highly recommend it. Clint Eastwood is great in it, and I just simply cannot recommend it enough. This is the Digibook edition. But I was thinking, I was watching this recently in preparation for this Taste of Director series entry. I revisited this title a few weeks ago and I really, really love this film. So when I watched this film again for the first time in a number of years and seeing the scenery in this film, I would love to see a 4K Ultra HD release of this movie. That would be great to see because I think this movie would be beautiful in 4K Ultra HD. So The Outlaw Josie Wells from 1976, one of my favorite Clint Eastwood films, one of my favorite westerns, and I highly recommend this film if you haven't checked this one out. So that's The Outlaw Josie Wells. So we covered Play Missy for me, The Outlaw Josie Wells, a film from 1971, 1976. Now we're going to fast forward 20-some years into the future actually 16 years into the future, from one Western to another, going from the outlaw Josie Wales to this legendary Western right here, which is a winner of four Academy Awards. Still got this pesky Walmart sticker on here, but it's unforgiven. I have not upgraded this to the 4K yet. This is the Blu-ray edition of Unforgiven. And this is an absolutely stellar, stellar film. I rewatched this one again recently in preparation for this discussion, but this is just one of the all-time great westerns. Clint Eastwood directs this film, he stars in this film, he stars as a character named Bill Money, who used to be this, this awesome you know, outlaw who you know did some pretty incredible things in, in his day. Of course, that was 11 plus years ago. He hasn't shot a man in 11 years. He's laid his gun down for the woman that he loved. He's raising kids, his, his wife died a few years ago, and he's doing his best to honor her name by not getting involved in his, his, his old ways. She, she taught him a new way of living, you know, living life on the straight and narrow and not being an outlaw, and he wanted to honor that. But he was pulled back into his outlaw past by a certain event that happened in Wyoming where some prostitutes were abused. There was one prostitute in particular who was cut up by a couple of men and the prostitutes pulled their money together and put out a bounty on these men's lives uh, in revenge for what happened to this woman. And so Clint Eastwood's character, Morgan Freeman's character are pulled into this quest to find these men and make them pay for their crime. Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman right here, he plays, he plays little Bill in this film, the sheriff. And he is brilliant in this film. Richard Harris is brilliant in this film. Of course, Clint Eastwood and Morgan Freeman are just wonderful in this movie. These are some great characters, great Western. It is just one of the best of all time. And part of what I love about this movie, in addition to The Outlaw Josie Wales in terms of Clint Eastwood's Westerns is the humor. There is so much humor in these, in these films. Just seeing, of course, this, uh, you know, William Money, who used to be this incredible outlaw, 
back in the day. You hear legends and stories about what he did in the past. And of course, you see him now, fast forward you know, a number of years later, he's a shadow of the man that he once was. And so they, they use some good humor to sort of play, to sort of lay that out, that he can barely get on a horse, he can barely shoot anymore. And you see his children in the background and they're thinking, I really used to be this 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 great outlaw, but I don't really see that in what I'm looking at. He's just he's just Paul to me. So uh, just a great film, just an incredible incredible film. I love the characters of this movie. The women in the brothel, they are are humanized and in such a beautiful way. And I just love the way that Clint Eastwood tells the story. And this is one of the ultimate examples of that. And just as a incredible film from Clint Eastwood that I simply cannot say enough good things about. I'm not doing a really good job of describing it. I'm in a different uh, place than I normally am in, but suffice to say that Unforgiven is one of the all-time greatest westerns, and I simply cannot recommend it enough. This is Unforgiven. It won Best Picture. It won Best Director for Eastwood. It won Film Editing and Best Supporting Actor for Mr. Gene Hackman. He played Little Bill in this film, and he was brilliant. And this is a film, if you have not seen Unforgiven, check it out. Also, let me know in the comment section, for those of you who have this on 4K Ultra HD, is this worth the upgrade? I have it on Blu-ray. Let me know if you think that Unforgiven is worth the 4K Ultra HD upgrade. Let me know that in the comments below. That brings us to the fourth film that I'm going to cover in this tape record series. And this is a film that I recently revisited as well. And it's a film that I have on DVD, the wonderful DVD format. DVD is not dead, folks. DVD is a great format, just like Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD. Of course, not as, as good as those formats, but DVD is alive and well. And this is Million Dollar Baby, the 2004 film starring Clint Eastwood, Hilary Swank, Morgan Freeman. This is a 2004 film that won Best Picture, Best Director for Eastwood, Best Actress for Hilary Swank, and Best Supporting Actor for Morgan Freeman. This is a film that won four Academy Awards, and this is just one of the great films that Clint Eastwood has ever directed. It is a heartwarming story. It is a human story. It is a story of a woman played by Hilary Swank who wants to box, who has a passion for boxing. It's her dream, it's what she wants to do, but she wants to be trained by the right person. So she wants to be trained by Clint Eastwood's character in this film, who I forgot the name that he played in this film. Frankie Dunn, Frankie Dunn. So Clint Eastwood plays Frankie Dunn. Of course, Hilary Swank's character wants him to train her. He's reluctant at first, but of course, eventually he relents and he trains her. And you see the, the development of their relationship over the course of this film as, a, as sort of a trainer, boxer, but also in some ways a father-daughter type relationship. Of course, Frankie Dunn is estranged from his own daughter. And so there's a little bit of a surrogate father-daughter type thing. She doesn't even know her father. So it's just a heartwarming, amazing film with heart and soul unlike 95% of films that you see, it's just one of the great films that Clint Eastwood has ever made. It says in the back here, the best film of the year. Of course, this film won Best Picture. Hard to argue with that. But this is just one of the all-time greats from one of the all-time great directors, Clint Eastwood. Morgan Freeman is fantastic. Of course, this is 12 years after Unforgiven. They team up again for this amazing film that also stars Hillary Swank. So Million Dollar Baby, an amazing film, highly, highly recommended. So those are the four films that I'm talking about or that I covered today in this Taste of the Record series for Clint Eastwood. We got Play Missy for Me, The Outlaw Josie Wales, Play Missy for Me is from 1971. This is my favorite of his films that he directed, The Outlaw Josie Wales, incredible western from 1976. Unforgiven, the 1992 legendary Western from Clint Eastwood, and 2004's Million Dollar Baby. Let me know in the comments section what you think about these films, 
And let me know what you think about some of the other films from Clint Eastwood, such as The Mule and other films that this great director has directed over his, over his many years. The Mule, you have films like Mystic River, which he does not appear in. So that's a film that he directed, but he does not appear in. Same with Invictus, same with Changeling. This is American Sniper, starring Bradley Cooper. And this is 2004's Grand Torino. So I really enjoyed this film when I saw it. This is from 2008, starring Clint Eastwood, and he directed this film. But this is just one of the great, prolific directors of our day. And I think he's 92 years old now, and he's still doing his thing. He's still making films and still doing some amazing things. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about Clint Eastwood films? What are some of your favorite films from this director? And let me know what your favorite film is that he directed in, that he directed, and that he starred in. And given Clint Eastwood's filmography, that may be the same thing because he starred in a lot of his films. But let me know what you think of Clint Eastwood's films in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time for movies. Peace.